Well, hello, Ellie. Uh, time for another update on uh, from IMM Recruitment about the various uh, recruitment issues that are going on out there. How are you today? Oh, hi, John. I'm great. How are you? Oh, uh, fantastic. You know, so many of our clients have a couple of questions that I think we should clarify for them okay. um, and, and prospects. So one of them is, where do you recruit from? Who are the people that you talk to? Okay, so that's question number one. And then the second one is um, often somebody like an employer or employee will have a relative in another country uh, that's not within sort of your specialty list of of, uh, of countries. And they wonder, well, can they come over? You know, questions around a lot around the Ukrainians and and uh, some folks have relatives in 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 Africa. How how do they get here? Can IMM look after those people? So if you could just give a you know a, a quick debrief on how to answer those questions for clients. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first question: We recruit mostly from Iran, Brazil, Mexico, and depending on the situation philippine the reason we focus on these countries is because we have um we have offices there we have agents there we have established in those countries and uh that help us to find qualified candidates we have um we have agents that can speak the language they can call the employers like their previous employers they can do background check reference check and that helps us for the recruitment and we always want to make sure that we we're finding the right candidates Again, like the employers are investing to bring um, these candidates to Canada. They want to make sure they have people that are committed. They want to make sure they have people that have the right skills, right um, personality. And uh, that's that's why we focus on the countries that we know the most. Um, and we receive a lot of clients, like a lot of clients sometimes like they might be Brazilians, but they're living in other countries. So they all go straight to um our agents in those countries and yeah. that can take them through the pre-screening um so uh brazil and iran i would say are the two that uh we really focus on and we will soon also go to argentina oh, that's, yeah. uh, yes that's a that's cool. something that we're working on uh right now and uh philippine was another country that we did a lot of recruiting from but right now um because of the, all the new rule and regulations philippine labor law has um it's just very difficult to bring mm -hmm. philippines to canada and uh it has a lot of costs for the employers a lot of liabilities which are these are some of them are very new some of them uh they changed back in march mm -hmm. and um and it also like this process is lengthy itself but that when it goes through that it just takes forever to bring um filipinos to canada so we just uh for that side, um, when uh, I'm having a meeting with the employees, I just let them know in advance what yes. is going to happen. Uh, as long as they're okay with the, all the costs and uh, all the liabilities, we can still, we do recruit from those countries. Yeah. Right on. Well, thank you. That really helps. Uh, that'll help clarify something, uh, questions that we receive from employers. And so, off, you know, a question will come up. Well, do, do uh, how about... How about some uh, recruiting from uh, Asian uh, uh, subcontinent and uh, from China or from India um, that uh, or a relative knows somebody, uh, an employer knows somebody from somewhere else that's not within your list? How does that how is that handled by IMM? Oh, yeah. Um, every time I meet an employer, I always tell them at the beginning if they have clients in mind, if they have candidates in mind we help them with the pre-screening i mean we don't have that uh we can't do it as much as we do in those countries you know like we don't have we don't have agents from that countries they want but we help them with the pre-screening we help them with the background check so um all they have to give us it's their email address and phone number and we'll just contact the um the candidates themselves uh we ask them questions because for hiring temporary foreign workers it's different from hiring like recruiting from Canada in that country because we have not only we have to make sure they're good 
candidates, they're people that are qualified for a job, but also we have to make sure they can come to Canada. They can go through the immigration process as well. That's why we do that pre-screening. Um, it's mostly asking them questions about their previous uh, immigration files, their previous, like what they've done, which countries they've been to, to make sure there are no red flags. And we help with that. We, um, we're always open. We, uh, they just give us their information. And uh, what I do is that after the pre-screening, after checking some documents, we'll send an update to the employer. We we'll let them know of the what we think of that person's file. And uh, if they're okay with it, we'll help them with the whole work permit applications and uh, everything else. And we can bring them to Canada. <clears throat> that is great. That's great. So as, uh, as we've uh, uh, certainly... Uh, indicate to prospects and people who and companies that need to bring in um, uh, foreign workers, uh, uh, international workers. IMM Recruitment is a full service com uh, company, uh, and this really helps illustrate why they should be uh, uh, phoning you guys. And you can see the phone number and the email down below. Ellie, thank you so much. I know that we'll be talking to you very soon. Thank you so much, John. Have a great day. Thanks. You bet.